Hello, friends. Oh my gosh, we're back. <sighs> all right, did everybody take a deep breath? Are we all relieved? Are we relieved that everything's back to normal? Well, sort of. Uh, I mean, I guess it is back to normal for a minute until I have to go travel again. Wee! Uh, so I am back and I have a little nocturnal journal uh, project for us to work on together. I'm very excited about it. I was watching Louise Heinzel, and she just hit 40,000 subscribers. Uh, go her. That seems like a lot of people and makes me very scary nervous. Uh, she did a like a whole tag tutorial uh, where she like showed she was doing a giveaway and she like did this little tutorial in the middle of it and she was like you know post four tags and submit a link in my comments and you'll be entered to win. Well, I'm not going to enter her contest, but I did like the, uh, the idea of making four tags out of a little master board. And I liked what she did. So what I've been working on recently is more detail. So here's what I want to do. Keeping in mind that I'm trying to be more detail oriented in my art, which is very, very, very hard because I do not like fussy things. Detail is what makes things really interesting. Details and layers, and layers are details. Details are layers, layers are details, it's interconnected. So I have one sheet of each of these papers that I got um, for my nocturnal journal. And I've got these Alice in Wonderland ones, which I may or may not use. What I wanna do though, is I just wanna tear off pieces and I'm gonna glue them on these pieces of cardboard, which are actually a cracker box. Look at me, doing junk journaling with real junk. So, um, I'm just gonna rip up paper, have a little chitter chat. Uh, we're gonna put it on this cardboard. Maybe I should put it on this side. I think I will. I think I'm gonna put it on this side. Um, but I do want to, it's kind of shiny and I want to break that up with my sanding block. So let me go do that really fast and I'll be right back. Okay, my, my sander is very fine. So I don't actually know if that even did anything, but we're going to find out. It's fine. Um, we're going to use, we're going to use the Pritt glue stick and see if this works. Uh, there's the second one. Here's the first one. I've got my little glue book here. We're just going to tear off little pieces of paper and glue them down and see what comes, what comes of it. So, uh, did y'all see that video I posted with Stephanie's dolls? Oh, it's so good. I can't wait for you to see the second one. It'll happen next week. Um, I was going to try to do it this week, but I don't think I'm going to get to it because I need some dedicated time to think about the paper doll that I want to make. Or the, I guess the, the situation around the paper doll that I want to make with the um, second paper doll. I did finish the first one. It's Toad's Adorbs. There's lots of stickles and glitter. I love her. I am very excited. Stephanie makes way better paper dolls than I do. Just have to point that out. So uh, I went to Denver. It was fun. We did a little bit of work while we were there because it turns out, you know, they make you do work at, on work trips. No one explained that to me. I'm just kidding. I already knew. Um, so that's what I did. I did. I did some work on the work trip. It was actually a lot of fun. I. I don't normally enjoy work trips, but I really enjoyed that one. So. And then I get to go to San Francisco, so that'll be fun. Um. It cooled off here. It was hot when I got back. It was like in the 80s, which was nice. I was not complaining. I had a very nice weekend in the 80s. Um, 
the temperature was in the 80s. I didn't time travel back to the 80s. Might have, that might have sounded a bit confusing. <laughs> um, oh, I'm tearing this the wrong way. I always forget which way it needs to go. But, you know, I kind of feel like sometimes the white looks sort of interesting. So... Um, what else is going on? So when I got back, here's an interesting thing. Fun fact that you may not know about juniper forests. Uh, some North American robins, like the birds, will migrate to juniper forests for the winter because they will eat the juniper berries and they eat the juniper berries and they get really drunk because the junipers, the juniper berries ferment in their stomach. Uh, so what I have outside right now are um, a whole lot of drunk robins flying around and they keep running themselves into my windows, which is actually like pretty scary. Um, only because I'm just sitting around and then I hear thunk. They're not, they're not dying. Um, they're not hitting too, I think they're realizing it right at the tail end. Um, I think I did a Timu haul where I was like, yes, I ordered window clings. Like I'm running a daycare, but it's for the birds, not for me or children. Um, so I do have some windows that have clings on them, you know, just like little flowers or whatever. Uh, so that way the birds should see the white part and be like, okay, don't go there. There's something there. <sighs> Does that always work? Not really sometimes. Uh, and then sometimes it doesn't work. And but it is, it's very sad um, that they run into it because then I'm like, well, I don't want you to like hurt yourself. So, uh, but nobody's, nobody's, they're not dying. So I don't have to worry about that. Uh, what else happened? Oh yeah, I hit 1500 subscribers. I don't know what that was all about. Uh, I, I'm not sure what, made me hit that many subscribers uh, so quickly. I was sat at like 1479 for like three weeks and I couldn't get into 1480 to save my life. I would get close and then I would lose a bunch of subscribers. And I was like, I'm not even posting anything. I don't know what these people could be mad about. Um, I actually think there's a glitch in that system, if I'm honest, because it never really made much sense. And then, um, hmm, I wonder, well, and then, uh, yeah, and then suddenly I would have a bunch of subscribers again. So I don't really understand what that was all about. Wrong way. Look at me doing it the wrong. Well, it was the right way if I wanted this piece, but I don't. I don't think I want that piece. I think I want. I think I want that piece, or maybe I should put it down there. Mm. Maybe I do want it like that. So, uh, somebody did ask, are you going to do something to celebrate 1500 subscribers? And I, I know that I mentioned on my last live stream that maybe I would do another one when I hit 1500 subscribers, but I just don't have time for a live stream, which really sounds ridiculous when I say that out loud. Um, but I would need like a weekend where I didn't have anything going on and you know my husband could be here and there's just a lot of logistics to do that 
And so I think I might wait and then we can do a live stream when I hit 2,000 subscribers. Does that sound okay to everyone? I mean, it kind of has to because I don't have any other options. Ooh, I need a wet paper towel. Okay, my hands were super, super sticky. So, anyway, I think that I might... Um, I might do a live stream later. I think when I hit... Oh, I kind of like that one. Maybe when I hit 2,000, if I have the time. Um, so, you know, share my channel with all your friends. Let them know. If they are into half-assed crafts, I got them. I got you. I got you. And I need about 500 more half-asslings. So if y'all want to, like, get on that, that would be cool. Um, I don't really have many friends aside from y'all. So, you know, I feel like I should probably put that at an angle. Ooh, heck yeah. So, if y'all want to invite folks along, you can do it. I welcome it. Uh, you know what else I have? I have, like, stuff like this. Like, maybe... Mm, no. What's this? Well, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, because remember, I'm going to cut all of this up. So, let's put this on there. So we're just going to cut this. Louisa Heinzel did something really interesting. She she layered a couple of pieces on top of one another and then like cut them and layered them again or something. I don't even know. It was it was magical. That lady does junk journal magic. And that is way above my pay grade. Sorry. Sorry y'all. I I don't think I can do that. So that's the original box, but I don't even think it matters. But let's see if we have something in here that's a little abstract and spooky. And maybe we could add it. I don't like that corner. I was trying to like it, but I don't. It's just one of those things where you're like, eh. I can't like it. Can't get there. Mm. I'm not sure that I like that either. I think I just might leave it alone. Okay, so there's one. Do I want to try to put this on top? I don't think so, because that's black and I think it would. All right, let's not do that. But, I'm going to set that off to the side. We could put this on this one and see what happens. I watched somebody put napkin down with a glue stick the other day. And I was just like blown away by the whole dang thing. So, let's... Let's just do this and see if we can make this work. Okay, y'all can see. I am just gonna put, I'm gonna slather a glue stick on this. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna put half. Of it on this side. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Right about there. Ooh, it is wet. Interesting. All right, we're gonna flip it around like that, and we're gonna do it again on this side. I'm gonna do 
you got to be careful on that. Ooh, my hands are sticky. I don't know if I can take them off of this without ripping. Ooh, somehow I did it. I don't know how. Okay. All right, let's peel this up. Set that off to the side. All right, there we go. You can still kind of see the crackers. That's fun. And then I was thinking about doing like, let's just do that. We're just gonna take small pieces of these scraps that we have left over from the other master board that we did. And I'm just gonna try and stick them down on the cardboard. And we're just gonna see what ends up happening. I think Louisa called hers a lazy master board because it was a, they were printouts of master boards that she had done, which pretty smart. I do have a printout of my postal master board, but that's not terribly spooky unless you have to like go into the post office, pick up your mail and stand in line for three hours. I think we just have one post office here serves all of us. It's kind of ridiculous. That wait is a long, long time. Okay, and this is fine. This is all extra. So, let's peel it right off. Excellent. You can't see it. Let me get it back in frame. Sorry. All right. I've got a little wet wipe over here. I'm trying to get all the glue off of my fingertips. All right, let's see what else we have. All right. We have this one. So, 1,500 subscribers is neat. That's wild. Thank you all. That's, it just blows my little mind that, that y'all like to be here as much as I like to be here. I think it's fun. I've made so many friends. That was the whole reason that I started this whole shindig, these shenanigans that I'm in. It was all just to uh, to make friends and see what I could see. And here we are. Making friends, doing art. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just speed through the rest of this because really, let's be fair, there's only so much of this that one person can handle before they're like, I'm over it. This lady and her master board making, which is super boring. All right, I'm just gonna and then we'll be back. So we have these. This one is still a little bit wet. So I think I am going to take this one though. And I'm going to pull down my handy dandy spray box. Ta-da! Oh man, I had a piece of plastic that I could put in here, but that's okay. All right. I'm going to do this and I'm going to spray this with some mica sprays. So the colors I'm going to use are Decayed... Wicked Elixir and Harvest Moon. And I think, okay, so first off, I love Decayed. I'm almost out of it. Boohoo. I need to order some. Um, so I think I might use Wicked Elixir on this one because this has orange and I don't really, green and orange don't really go. So I'm going to do, I'm really seriously running low on this. 
Okay. Maybe you shouldn't use that much, Laura. Get it together. All right, and that's all I want to use of that. Can you see? Ooh, spooky. Okay, uh, I need this to dry, but I'm going to lift it up and set it over here. Then I'll let it dry. And then this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. A little bit of Decayed and then some Harvest Moon. Oh, all right, leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. Don't touch it. Put our spray box back up. It's really just a cake box. If y'all buy a cake at the bakery, you can ask them for an extra box or just don't get, don't get your cake on your cake box and you can use it. All right, I'm gonna dry these. Okay, so A, the paper towel is pretty cool. I might actually keep that and do something with it. B, these are dry, but the thing you need to know is that mica is gonna come up. So see, it is not, that is not settled, so it's not fixed. You need a fixative, such as I have this. I'm not gonna spray it inside because it's basically just like clear nail polish and it stinks. It stinks outside. Like on a breezy day, I spray it and I wander around for a minute because it really still smells, even outside. So what I'm going to use instead is I'll probably seal this with either clear gesso or I'll seal it with matte Mod Podge. But before we get to that part, I want this part. Do you know what this is? Why, it's our good friend, Stabilo All. Hello, Stabby. Nope, that's not a good nickname. Uh, whatever. So I have watched lots of Instagram reels and I'm going to try this. There's one with a little bit of Stabilo on it. And then there's two with some Stabilo on it. Cool, cool. I like that. Okay, now what I think I'm gonna do is I think I might do, let me find it. Um, I think I'm gonna try this one. Cool. Oh, look at that. And then I am gonna put this one on here, but don't worry. We're coming back with something else. Oh, let's try this one. It looks like tickets or something. There's numbers. All right, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. I wonder if I could put a little crow on here or something. I don't know that it would show up. Let's find out. Definitely pulls up the mica, which I knew that it would. So. Okay. 
just a little crow hanging out on the page. All right, that's cool. I know, are y'all proud of me? Because somebody out there has to be super proud of me sitting here doing all of this. Because I never would have done this, y'all. I would have been like, the master board is beautiful. I'm leaving it alone. And now I'm over here going, I'm going to add more to that master board and see what happens. Get ready, master board, because I'm coming for you. So we have these. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them before I seal them because I want to put things on them. Uh, I have this little box of things here. And if you could see my head, I'm jutting it all around looking for my Tim Holtz ephemera Halloween stuff. Um, but first we're going to cut these. All right. I found that near my, my little cutter. Okay. So. Oh, this is going to get Mike all over everything. Oh, well. It's fine. little guy which yeah it's kind of long isn't it what if I I wonder if these Tim Holtz scissors will stand up to the test of time here how big is this I'll cut it right there all right, the Tim Holtz scissors are all right. And then we got that little piece, which we'll deal with in some way. Okay, and then I can poke a little hole in this guy. Maybe. Oh, well, that's, that's a nocturnal tag because it's all a little off kilter. Okay, and then those little guys will stay there. Okay, and then this Okay, this one, I know what I want to do with. Oh, that's the same size. Wild. Um, this one I want to put something on like that and then I want to take a tea bag tag yes or a tea bag okay so for that one we're gonna use a little bit of Mod Podge and we are going to Put that down, and I'm just gonna use, am I gonna use this brush? No, I'm gonna use this. Yeah, I know it's gonna get gloppy and goopy. These things are pretty for just a minute and then they're kind of not. All right, and then and then we're gonna do this like 
So, and then that takes away all the cool spray part. Maybe I should have sealed it, but I didn't, so we're here. So this is where we are. And then I'm gonna take this and lay it over like so. And there's nothing better than getting your hands all goopy. So get your hands goopy. All right, so that one's gonna need to dry. And I think what I'm gonna try to do with it I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I can figure out. But that one's gonna dry. And and I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna have to go spray these with fixative if I'm gonna keep this finish. So I'm gonna go do that. Uh, it's kind of dark outside, but that's okay. I'll return. Okay, I went out and I sprayed them really quickly. They still smell like they're dry. They just really still smell, but I wash my hands, so you can see that. See, I mean, you get a little bit, but it's not at all like what you were getting. All right, it's practically nothing, actually. Uh, maybe my hands just actually weren't as clean as I thought they were. Whatever. Okay. So here's what I want to do. I have this Tim Holtz ephemera. I really want to use it. Um, I love this little piece. I wonder, oh, I just feel like I should use it on the, but it just, it just fades right into the background of that, doesn't it? Ooh almost enough to go that way. It really does fade into the background on that. So I think it's going to look best on that one, maybe. This one is pretty dry. What if I put it on? No, that looks weird. Don't do that. Okay. Leave that one alone. Got it check. All right. Well, that's a good option. No, I feel like that's too much. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, look, there's all these different. Okay. All right. All right. I see you. Hang on. Hang on a dango minute. Do I get any more of them? Ooh, no, but I got this guy that I made. Look at him. He's got bat wings, a mask, and a raven. I could put him on one of these cards, couldn't I? Ooh, I could put him on this card. Like so. You could cut his little legs off. Or, he's too big for that one. Is he too big for this one? I mean, he would kind of hang over, but is that such a bad thing? Let's find out. He's stuck on something. Okay. All right, so he's a maybe. Uh, I want to do a whole little series with these little death cards and these three. And they all need like a raven, an owl, maybe an eyeball, maybe. What about a black rose? Ooh, a black rose for death. Get it? Because it's death. Oh, you know what I have? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot about these. Y'all. I have all of these guys. They're like 
apothecary. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Got to take off my little sweater here. Got warm in here. Ooh, I got st stung by a yellow jacket, which is really just a bite. And man, does it itch. It itches so bad. Okay. Look, I got one of these. And maybe I could do... Well, I can't put a raven on a raven. Alright, well... I like these three. And I might use this little raven over here. Okay. Ooh, there's another bug. Oh, I kind of... Every bug I have gets hidden by whatever I'm doing. It's kind of annoying. It's just ever so slightly annoying. Ooh, here's another bug. It's the same bug. Hmm, maybe that bug will go there. Okay, so maybe this bug will go here. Oh my gosh, wait. If I put this bug on here using some of my foam tape, oh, my foam tape is way too big. Funny. I don't even know if this tape works. You get what you pay for, kids. You get what you pay for. Oh, yeah. Neat. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. And then... I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear this off like so. Oops. I can use that one for another one. And then I think I will ink the edges of this like so. There we go. And then if I get it in here straight, am I straight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hopefully that little bugger sticks. Ah, it's a bug. Get it, bugger. Ah. Hilarious. All right, let's put some of this on it. We're going to call that one done. Cool, cool. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we did one. Great. All right, uh, I'm going to go and do these three. So I picked out some stuff and I'm going to go do it. And I mean, 
Oh my gosh, look at these little fellas. And uh, yeah, and then we'll come back and we'll see. We'll see how far I got. Okay. Be back. Show you the end result. And they're done. So uh, we did this one together where I put the tea bag on the top. So I did a little, um, I'm going to call it a pop-up bug. I don't know if that's the right word. What do you say when it's like, I don't know, anyway, there's a foam sticky thing there. I put that little piece on there too because I felt like it needed just something else. So there's that little tag. Cute, cute, cute. Um, I did this one with the two death cards and I put a crow in front and then this is some flowers. All the colors kind of blend together. I realized what I should have done is taken some threads and put under these flowers to make the flowers pop off the page. Live and learn. Um, and then I did this one with a little bat uh, pop-up, but it's not a pop-up. Anyway, uh, this background piece is from, and this Destiny piece is from the Fortune Teller kit um, by J. Lee Lu or something like that. J. Lee Lu, I don't know, Rue, I don't remember. Uh, I'll link it below. I can't, look, I just, I can't remember. My brain is only so big. Uh, and then this one has a little poison piece that is three-dimensional with a little piece of foam under it. I stapled a little piece of lace at the top. This is a sticker. And then I did cover this with another tea bag, and then I put the poison thing on top. I also put this on here, but you can't really see it. Uh, and then this one, which has like the weird little tag that's just, a, or the cut that's a little askew. I put these three little boys and the word mis mischief, mischief. Uh, there's a little bit of cheesecloth and then this little pharmacy thing. I just thought that that was cute. And then this guy, this guy is the October 31st gypsy. That's what I've determined. Um, he's got a little crow and I realized, I mean, the crow was already on there, but the crow should have been the, uh, the three dimensional object in this whole kit and caboodle. Um, yeah. And I showed that one. So that's it. That's, that's what I came up with. So that's fun. So if you're wondering, what do I do with master boards? Well, you make them and you enjoy looking at them and then you cut them apart and stick things on top of them. It's just what we do. Uh, I have this going. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I do want to put her on here. So I'll get to that. Maybe we'll do that one together in a, uh, in a video. So there's some nocturnal journal pieces and I've got my little nocturnal journal here. Let's see. I, I cut the little, um, thumb holes for the pockets. Go me. Um, I don't think I've really added anything in here since you all saw it. Well, I did tuck in some tags. So um, I think what I want to do is I think I want to take some of this paper and like create tuck spots and things. And then we can put these little guys in. I think that's what to do. Oh, I did put this in. Look at this. So I viewers sent this to me and I was trying to put some, a glue tape or a tape runner, a glue runner on the back of this to glue it on this page. And the glue runner grabbed the paper and ripped it. And I was so upset. Scarlet, I'm so sorry, but I did tape it on the other side and I don't know. I mean, it, it's not terrible. It kind of gives it an interesting, uh, an interesting look. And then I washi taped it but I left that so you can see it. I'm not going to do anything else with this page. I'm going to leave it alone. Um, yeah. So I will work on putting these in on pages where it'll work and they look neat. Well, maybe I could just make that a tuck spot, couldn't I? Huh. I could. 
I could just make these the tuck spots. Well, except the ones that have the tags. But like that could be a tuck spot. That could be a tuck spot. Hmm. Okay. Well, I will we'll play more in this journal later. All right. There we go. There it is. Spooky.